Quantum superposition is a phenomenon where a very small particle can be in multiple states at the same time. For example, if we flip a coin and it's spinning in the air, it could be heads or it could be tails. Quantum superposition says that it's in both of those states at the same time until it falls and is determined to be heads or tails. For example, if you think about an electron, it has two states, spin up and spin down. Ah. In quantum superposition, the electron exists in both spin up and spin down states simultaneously until it is measured. Now let's explain quantum entanglement, which is a phenomenon where two or more particles are so strongly coupled to each other that if you know the state of one particle, you can immediately know the state of the other particle. For example, imagine two entangled coins. If you look at one coin, you immediately know the state of the other coin, which is far away. If the first coin is heads, the second coin is automatically heads. No matter how far apart they are, once the state of one is determined, the state of the other is immediately determined. For example, imagine two electrons are entangled. If you measure the spin of the first electron and find that it is spin up, the spin of the second electron is immediately determined to be spin down. This entanglement state does not change no matter how far apart they are. Let's summarize quantum superposition. A particle can be in multiple states at the same time. Like a coin can be head and tail at the same time in mid-air. Quantum entanglement, on the other hand, is when two particles are so strongly connected that if you know the state of one, you immediately know the state of the other, like if you know the state of one of two entangled coins, you know the state of the other. Quantum superposition and quantum entanglement are two confusing concepts, but they both play an important role in quantum mechanics. Subscribe it.